Hello everyone, Lord Chuckle Birds here for another video review. This time we have the limited edition Dime Mint. Or Mint Dime. <laughs> um, yeah, so, well, well, I mean, essentially, yeah, Dime have done a couple of limited editions recently. They did an orange one not too long ago, and um, now they've done a mint one. Yeah, so we're quite excited about this. Quite like Dime bars. Definitely one of my favourite bars there is. Um, you know, definitely would be in my top 10 or top 20 at least. Uh, I'm quite sure of that. So, yeah, quite exciting. Now, Dime Mint is probably not my, uh, not the best flavour to have. It seems to be quite common, doesn't it? You always see mint flavoured things. It's quite a common flavour to have, but I don't I don't believe it's that popular with anyone. <laughs> it just seems to be one of those standard flavours that you can do and people think it's okay, but yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me know if you think otherwise anyway, but I don't I don't feel like it's anyone's favourite flavour chocolate, you know, um but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Um yeah, so quite look forward to this as I say. Now it used to be called Dime in the UK a long time ago now probably. Um but when I was young it was Dime, you know, D I M E. Um but they changed the spelling, a bit like a few other things I've done over the years. Probably to put it more in line with um what it's called, mainland Europe, basically. Still pronounced the same as far as I can tell, Dime. Um but yeah. I don't know. Do have a few things. Jif was is now Sif. <laughs> Or the Ole is now Ulay, I think, or Ulay's Ole, one or the other. Um, there's probably some of us. What's that shaving cream? What's called Imac? What's it called now? I don't know. Vite or something, I think. Is it Vite? Yeah. Anyway, there we are. So, yes. <laughs> Not that I shave my legs. Um, okay. <laughs> Can't get myself in any more trouble. Let's move back onto the chocolate. Um, right, so yeah, so it's in a free pack, this one. I don't believe you can buy them individually. Uh, maybe you can. But um, I've only seen it in a pack of three. Um, so. Basically, the flourishes on the side, extreme, and then each one is obviously a third of the bar. But there you go, so what does it say on the back? It's Mondelez again. <laughs> uh, someone was asking me in the comments, you know, who or, who or what is Mondelez, and uh, well, here we go. So basically, I've just reviewed some Barney cake bars, and that was Mondelez. These are Mondelez. Cadbury's are Mondelez. Milk is Mondelez. Everything's Mondelez. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so quite a sort of What's this? What you saying? Ice, ice green? Did you say? Yeah. Um, might look a bit blue on the camera. Well, yeah, I don't know. It seems to be tinted green. I think to me, it's like a sort of a bit of a, yeah. It is a sort of slightly. It might look a bit blue to you, but to me, it looks green, like an ice green. Yeah. I'm not sure what the official colour of that would be. I'm sure there is a name for it, but I can't think. I know there's ice blue. But anyway. So bizarrely, I've got to flip it to uh, read the description. So it's a mint flavoured milk chocolate, 42%, with a crunchy almond caramel centre. So there we go. So that's basically what uh, um, dime bars are, really. So like a, sort of like a sort of weird, chewy almond centre. Um, I'm not a big fan of nuts. It doesn't really taste like almonds. It just tastes really nice. It's really chewy and lovely. You usually get them in IKEA restaurant, um, restaurants and stores, don't you, as well. Um, yeah, so it's got a Mondelez address in Uxbridge, which I think is presumably in the UK. <laughs> and it's got a Mondelez Island address. Well, so it is um, an official UK one, it's not an import. So I think I got this in, um, was, it, was it b and I think? Yeah, b and or Home Bargains, whatever. I think Home Bargains, actually. I think it probably have owned both. Um, okay, so per bar, 28 grams, 148 calories, 8.6 grams of fat, 4.5 of which are saturates. There we go. Looks quite nice, typical sort of dime bar <laughs> uh, look. Uh, I think normally it's just all red rather than this sort of like I say mint green. Yeah, mint, mint green. There we go. I think that's what I'm after. Mint green. Um, yeah. I said ice cream. Yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I do astound myself sometimes. It is dime mint, and I didn't. I couldn't think it was mint green. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, there we go. It's staring me in the face all the time. What can I say? Right, let's give it a well, give the main thing an open. Let's see that. I do wonder how I keep going sometimes when I you know, do stupid things like that. Okay, now I am at this point getting a nice mint smell coming through. Like you see, it's huge flourishes here. I've got the set for Africa, I mean, ridiculously big. I mean, you know, that's the real size. And with these flourishes, it's just almost, almost a third again as big, I think. Um, huge rice says multi pack not for resale. Multi pack bar contains milk nut soya for full ingredients. See the official for the actual outer pack. Okay, 
nothing too uh, dramatic. Mint limited edition looks quite nice. Let's give it a measure with the flourishes. 13 and a half centimeters. So I can tell you right now it's going to be pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 13 and a half. It roughly looks like it's going to be about 10, just over 10 centimetres. So, okay. Right, let's give it an open. I'm interested to see what the middle of it looks like. It just looks like a regular dime bar. I assume it will do because on the front the packaging and things, it's all looks the same. So it's just probably flavouring. But it'd be quite nice if it was a different colour. I don't know if we could achieve that really. Okay, so here we go. So we had 13 and a half centimetres, what did I reckon it was going to be? About 10, did I? 10 and a half, 10. Yeah, 10 centimetres now, roughly. There's a bit of knobbly bits going on, but it's roughly 10. So yeah, that's about 3 and a half centimetres. 3 to 3 and a half centimetres. But it's a nice mint smell. It does smell nice, very minty. Typical mint smell, really. Or just mint. <laughs> about half a centimetre high, roughly. Yeah, half a centimetre. Width wise at the bottom. Just under four, maybe four, 3.9, four centimeters. There we go. So that's quite nice. It's got this little like drizzled effect on the top. I like that. It's quite solid as well. Flat bottom. No tire tracks, just just flat. Some bits of chocolate nib middly They're missing bits there. The chocolate's not like covered properly, but it's fine. Yeah, <coughs> that's good. Let's give it a snap. Good snap there. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go, so you can see that sort of almond filling there. So no different than normal by the looks of it. It's kind of shiny with crunchy bits in. As I say, I'm not really a nut fan myself, but I can I tell you what this really is nice. Obviously if you're allergic to nuts, it's not for you, but... I see one bit's glistening in the, the light there, and I think that's just a... That's an almond chunk, I'm not sure. A little crunchy bit, but it's nice. I can tell you that now. <laughs> okay, let's give it a taste, shall we? So really I'm expecting nothing too unusual other than the fact that it tastes like mint, as far as dime's concerned, but um, I don't know if I'm by the way. Let's uh, give it a go. Mm. 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 Odd one. Um. Mm. I'm just trying to wonder whether there's a chocolate's mint flavoured or, um, or the almond itself. Yeah, I'm going to find that out. Hmm, hard to tell. Hmm. Hard to tell, especially after I bit some. <laughs> I've got the mint flavour in my mouth. It might be the chocolate that's mint flavoured, I think. Um, it's quite hard to tell. Hmm, I don't know. Hard to tell. It's, quite, it's not a massively in your face taste of mint. Basically, yeah, lovely dime bar taste. They're nice and chewy, kind of sticks in your to your teeth, you know, but in a good way before it starts to melt and disappear. So it doesn't stay forever, it just you sort of chewing it and nibbling with that crunch and it then softens and softens. You know. And before you know it, you've just got this lovely sort of liquid taste in your mouth really. Liquid it kind of liquefies. Mm. It's really nice the consistency. I'm not sure that mint lends itself too well to the flavour. Um of the almond sort of crunch in the middle. Uh, Mm. The orange one that you brought out a few a few months ago was really nice. Um, mm. I'm just not sure mint works that well because the, the, the sort of flavour of the um, almond in the middle kind of doesn't really balance too well with it. I mean, if you love mint, I mean, I'm sure this will be up the street, but I think for most people you know, who are not that bothered either way, um, I don't think I uh, would be overly bothered about it. Well, if, you, if you love mint and you love um, dime bars, of course. Yeah, so it's okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. Um, mm. Mint is quite subtle, though, as I said. It's because it's probably... Um, mm. I'm not chucking my lip. But the thing is, um, it's probably played down a bit by the fact that the almond taste is quite strong. I mean, it kind of counters it a bit. Well, not counters, but conflicts with it. Um, so I think, that, I think that might be why the mint doesn't quite taste as strong as it could. But I think it's just too much, just two different strong, it's two strong flavours that don't really work well together. Um, mm, I don't think it adds much to it, the mint. Still a nice bar though. I love the 
I say that the almond crunch sensor is really nice. I love the way it's crunchy. Um, and the more you eat it, it kind of liquefies. And comes a really nice sort of. Um, hmm. I still get like a, you get like a solid and liquid separation really, where like a little bit of like honeycomb almost in your mouth left over, and the others of the rest of it's liquefied. And it's a lovely taste. It's really nice. Not to describe where else it's sounding too ridiculous, but um, hmm. Very tasty, yeah. I do like it. Um, and the chocolate's quite nice as well. It's a bit, it's a bit of a different tasting chocolate as well. It doesn't really, I'm not, it doesn't really taste like any other chocolate really as well. It's a very strange one than dying chocolate. Um, but yeah, I think. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Just not sure. That mint is the right flavour for it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. It just doesn't really work, I don't think. Um, and the orange ones seem to work. But mint one's just not, it just doesn't work well with the almond sensor. Hmm. I'm not sure why. I can't but I can't say why it does over why <clears throat> why this one doesn't and the orange one doesn't. I mean, it's just because it's just too strong a flavour. And um and the, <clears throat> the effect it has in your mouth is just it just, I don't know, it just conflicts with the almond flavour. I think the, I think the orange flavour in the one I did a few weeks, a few months ago, which just complemented it, whereas this one doesn't really. So I think it's still nice though. Um, yeah, again, I think, if you love mints, I think you'll probably still really like it. You'll have a dime, of course. Um, yeah, I think maybe a three and a half out of five, I think. It's, it's, it's a nice novelty, and it's nice to taste. Um, dimes are always lovely. Um, yeah, I just don't think it quite works, you know. Um, but as I say, it's still nice, you know. Maybe maybe it would be a four, you know, um, really, but it's just the fact that it just doesn't quite work. And I think there's bars that are nicer that work that would be a four. So, yeah, I think a three and a half out of five. <laughs> there we go. Not quite right. But a good attempt, and what limited editions are about really, aren't they? This is why they're limited edition, because there's something a bit different. Something that probably wouldn't really, people would have too much of normally. Um, just want to try it, to see what it's like, and, you know, maybe never have it again. <laughs> I think that's probably what this is like. There you go. It's, it's the, what's the word, the epitome? Is that the word? Something like that. The perfect example of what a limited edition is. It's nice to try, a bit of a novelty, but you'll probably never have it again. <laughs> Although in my case I've got three of them, so maybe I will. <laughs> okay guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me to subscribe, like my videos. Um, follow me on Instagram as well, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye. <laughs>